Hi everyone and welcome back to the deep dive. I'm not alone this week. Woo! Lana is back. I'm back. Yeah, I really butchered last week's episode by myself. That's right, I, really I butcher it up. every week. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so we all know that scuba diving will take you many far-flung places around the world that you, you know, maybe never heard of. Um, and, you know, if not for diving, most divers have a bucket list, that, you know, of things that they want to see in the world. Specifically wrecks and reefs, you know, they're easy to see and, you know, don't often move around. But underwater animals tend to migrate. Uh, there's a lot of empty ocean out there for them to, you know, hide in, you know, play hide and seek, don't they? They do. They do, anyway. <laughs> so where do you go when you want to see something amazing and when do you go? Well, many operators have specific tours running at certain times of the year, but put that aside and let's talk about the best places to find some awesome marine life and wrecks. Okay, let's start with turtles. The best places to see turtles are the Caribbean, Hawaii and Sipadan. Oh, you said that word. Yay! Well done, congratulations. <laughs> anyway, in the Caribbean, you can find plenty of turtles pretty much anywhere. The Grand Cayman has a turtle farm that releases thousands of turtles back into the sea. So, you know, the water's around there. They know the water's pretty around there. And, you know, they tend to stick around, which is pretty cool. That's pretty That's pretty good given. Uh, you can find turtles year round and March in June is, you know, normally the time of year where turtles tend to hatch. Uh, just remember to give them space, please. You're there in the hatching. <laughs> Unlike this one here, you're probably going to steal some little baby turtles. Oh, I would. Me, they yeah. would all be coming home with me. Mm -hmm. Hawaii is surrounded by cleaning stations and protected marine reserves, so you'll see more turtles swimming around than you can count. The Hawaiian culture mirrors that of the sea turtle, chilled out with a love of the ocean. Summertime brings warmth and calm waters that the turtles and holidaymakers enjoy, but book early to get a place. Yes, well, that's if you can at the moment. 2021, yeah, book for 2021. Yeah. Anyway, Sipadan in Malaysia has a protected nesting site similar to the Grand Cayman, so their little ones tend to come back and hang out around, you know, where they were born, which is nice. Anyway, beautiful coloured waters mean that even in the rare occasions that there aren't any turtles, there's still plenty to see. Anyway, between April and September is the best time to look out there uh, for hawksbill turtles. Yeah, I'd say that's, yeah, yeah that's Hawks Bill, that's what that says, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about sharks, yeah, sharks. Mm. Sharks are cool, you love sharks. I wouldn't want to take one of them home Why though. Not? Mm -mm. Okay, anyway, the best places to find an array of sharks is obviously gonna be Mexico, the Bahamas, and Ecuador. If you're after whale sharks, then Cancun in Mexico has one of the highest concentrations of whale sharks around. Cool. Summertime, around July, August, is a great time to visit because that's when they tend to arrive for mating season. Nassau in the Bahamas is famous for shark diving and they are very confident around divers. You can find tiger sharks in the winter around October to January, but you'll find all sorts of reef sharks be around between September and March. Oh, you saved that, well done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in Ecuador you'll see the hammerhead sharks between January and May, but they tend to spend their time uh, near Galapagos all year round. Uh, at peak times you can see hundreds of shoaling, shoaling together, you can see them hanging out together basically. Uh, the final marine animal that we want to talk about is whales, the best whales ever. Anyway, the best places to dive for whales are Canada, Iceland, and of course, Mexico. Uh, just off Quebec, uh, there is a marine park where 13 species of whales visit to rest and to feed. You'll see all sorts of humpbacks, you know, oh sorry, from humpbacks to beluga whales. I love beluga whales, I've seen them in the wild. They're cool. Have you? Yeah. When I went to Canada, it was awesome. I've never awesome. seen a real life whale. Oh <laughs> mate, they're cool. Anyway, the best uh, times to go are between June and September, but you are required to maintain uh, you know, a distance from a certain species, you know, so it's best to take a kayak or a boat tour, you know, you don't want to get up all in the whale's faces and poke them and No, them you and do not. No. Orca, humpback, minke, dolphins and all sorts can be found around Iceland following the heron and other shoaling fish around the Norwegian Sea and the Atlantic. May to August tends to be the best time to go, but if you enjoy the cold, then you can head to northern Norway in the winter time to look for orcas. And in Mexico, humpback whales head to Bahia de Bajandras around December to April because of its warm sheltered waters. Small boats can get you out to take a look, but you can often see them from the shore feeding and socializing. Okay, so let's talk about wrecks. So three best places uh, to wreck divers, the Red Sea, Truck or Chuck Lagoon, depending on where you're from, and Palau. The Red Sea is full of shipwrecks, and you know you can explore all, at all accessible depths. Uh, most of the wrecks are popular and well dived, so you know there are clear paths in and around them. But a liverboard is the best way to get around them, and you know to avoid 
the many, many crowds. Mm -hmm. uh, so Truck or, well, sorry, Truck or Chuck Lagoon is home to many World War II shipwrecks sunk during, obviously, the war in the Pacific. Because removing artifacts is strictly illegal and preservation is key, as a key interest, the wrecks are in actually great condition. Uh, while you'll see lots of marine life, the big stuff still tends to stay away because, you know, many believe because of, you know, the pollution caused by the sinking ships. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. And lastly, we have Palau. Not far from Truk, Palau has a similar story with shipwrecks sunk from the war in the Pacific. Both Japanese and American shipwrecks and some planes can be found in the waters from 50 metres down to 40 metres plus. Now, dive wreck sites can be personal, so if you have any other cool wrecks that should be dived, let people know in the comments. No, we can't do that. We're not letting people... That's like locals only. You shouldn't do that. Ooh, why did Mark write that? Ooh. Anyway, ooh, ooh. locals only, mate. Anyway, no, seriously do, because it's quite cool. Anyway, yeah, so there are obviously lots of other spots that we've missed. So, you know, talk about them in this discussion, lots of other animals. What are your favourite animals to, you know, see in the water? All your favourite wrecks? Let's have a chat in the comments. Let the people know the best place is to see your marine life and share your stories to inspire people to go out and scuba dive. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week for another episode of The Deep Dive. Happy diving. For cave diving, there is no need for snorkels. Obviously, cave diving requires the diver to remain submerged in the water for long durations. So the cave diver needs to be, you know, purely on a cylinder to breathe. The cave dive mask uh, purchase should be in the color black. Uh, black masks are the standard for cave diving as they absorb the light.